Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to Micro Minutes. Having a bit of technical issues here, trying to get everything on at the same time. But anyway, welcome to Micro Minutes. I um, hope you had a good Easter uh, in your lockdown. Um, a confession, the last two episodes of Micro Minutes were pre-recorded because I decided I wanted to have a holiday, even though I was cooped up inside. Anyway, today uh, I decided to go back to this microscope, so the stereo microscope, and to show you something else from my pond once again. And this time it's a funny little creature called a seed shrimp, otherwise known as an ostracod. OK, so ostra, like ostrogoth and cod, like the big fish, ostracod, no idea why. Anyway, um, I'll show you what I've got under here. Here we go. Right. So here's what I've got here. Uh, if I turn this light off, you can actually see it's just a little dishy dish. Here it is. Uh, and what I've done is I've gone into my pond and I fished out a load of these things and I've transferred them into this tiny little dish because there weren't actually that many of them. But this I thought previously there were more of them. Um, so I struggled to find enough of them to show you. But hopefully we'll be able to see them because the other thing about these things is they don't like to sit still. So without further ado, <clears throat> let's go to the microscope. So I'll put the light on and that gives them a bit of a blast. And then I'm going to get rid of uh, this web camera and this web camera and then I'll give them a bit of a shaky shaky because they tend to sit still right and there they are or rather there you probably aren't seeing much because what you've got there is they tend to run away from the lights they don't like the spotlight and they are all hiding in the corners but can you see these little things these little tiny little seeds almost these little grains of rice whizzing around there's one that's doing the really doing the hokey cokey uh, let's keep going around. Let's see if I can see some more. There it is. There it is. There he is. So these are tiny little crustacea. So that means they're related to crabs and shrimps and lobsters. And what they do is they grow themselves a shell. So it's a bit like a, a, a sort of a, a mussel shell or an oyster shell, except it's completely different because that's a completely different type of animal. OK, but these things, they grow a shell of sorts which wraps around them two sides to the shell. And if you imagine a shrimp and imagine now from its back, you grew a shell that kind of came around like this. OK, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and zoom in on one. I'm going to try find some that are not moving around too much. Now, I've deliberately put a couple of bits of. And I'll try and make sure I'm really well focused. Because these are jolly diddy. Those aren't very interesting because they're showing their backs to us. What we want is we want one showing. Oh, that's quite good. Let's zoom in on that one. There you go. There is a tiny little ostracod. And you can see now it's showing us its backside, its bottom. Can you see here? There are two sort of the edges of the shell. OK, and what it does is it keeps the shell a little bit open and the wiggly bits that you see up here are legs. And what it's doing is it sticks the legs out and it uses that to grab the food. Oops. And that's showing us its head. And do you see these two little dark dots, those are eyes. Uh, this is the gut here. And then there's uh, some sort of back of gut there. And when it wants to move around, when they zoom around, what they're doing is they actually use their antennae, which are really long, and they stick them out and they waft those about. Excuse me. <coughs> Coughing into the sleeve, you notice. Right. There you go. Oh, it's showing us its bum there. So you can see the shell. So these are very peculiar little creatures. And there's loads and loads and loads of them in here. There's another one over here. Let's show you that this one. This one is convenient. It might be dead. I won't be able to tell until I zoom in. There you go. No, no, it's not dead. It's still moving. You can just about see it moving there. Now, at the moment, and this, I'm going to go into some of the technicals of uh, microscopy at this point. At the moment, what I'm showing you is what's known as transmitted light. So the light is coming from the bottom. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on uh, this little camera that shows you this picture here. So if I do that... OK, so at the moment, what's happening and I'll turn the brightness down. Is light is coming from 
here, it's from the bottom, it goes through what's called a diffuser because there's a ring of LEDs, a very bright little tiny lights around here. And over this side, just over here, I've got a little controller. I can switch it off, I can switch it on, I can make it bright, I can make it dim. Uh, and what's happening is that there's a diffuser, a piece of glass that um, makes the light nice and even. So the light then passes up through the specimen and we see it through the top of the microscope up here or in the camera, as the case may be. Now, that's great for some things. So if I go back to my seed shrimp, that's kind of good for some things. But actually, you can see different details, in often case more detail, if we use a different sort of illumination. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to find myself a good section where there's a few See, here's a few. There's a piece of pond weed there, sort of pond algae. Can you see this? This long stringy thing. And there's loads of them. There's one there, there's one there, there's one there, there's one just on the edge. Loads of these little ostracods. And they're all munching away on stuff that's along the length of this piece of algae. But if I switch the illumination like this, we get what's known as dark field illumination. And suddenly a whole load of extra detail becomes available. And what's happening here, if I go back to this camera, what's happening here is all I did was I switched out the uh, diffuser plate. So if there it is in and we get nice even illumination coming up. But if I switch it out, what happens is the ring of LEDs that's around the outside is now shining light in, but at an angle, the light comes in at a shallow angle, okay? So if I take my uh, specimen out completely like this, it's black. You see black because the light comes in at an angle like this and none of it actually goes up the barrel of the microscope. OK, so you don't actually see anything at all unless there's something in the way that scatters the light. So you end up with a black background and everything kind of glows almost, which actually makes um, for some interesting effects. Right. Let's go back to my. Uh, ostracods. Right. There we go. I'm going to turn the brightness down a little bit because it's up a bit high. Bring it right down and then focus on these little ostracods. There they are. And I'm going to zoom in on this one here. And focus, 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 focus. That was actually a rubbish one to focus on. Let's find a better one to focus on. What I want is one that's not moving, that's sort of did, having its dinner. There it is. And there you can see it's got this little bit of, don't know what it is, bit of detritus, bit of plant material, and it's just nibbling away on it. Oh, it's had a little poo. There you go. It's not often you see an ostracod pooing live on, on, on your internet. <laughs> there you go. But you can see there's actually loads of other stuff going on in here. Can you see all these tiny, tiny, tiny in around here? There are loads of tiny, tiny little green blobs. And in fact, the longer you watch, the more you'll see there are, in fact, loads. I'm going to turn the brightness up too far. Loads and loads and loads of things living in this water. And everything that's moving is alive somehow. And the other thing you can see is if I turn the lighting back to the ordinary lighting like that, there's the ostracod. You can see there's the back of its shell. There's its head. It's a little eye spot there. But if I do this, can you see all around the edge of the ostracod? If I just focus very carefully, it almost looks like it's sort of a bit fuzzy. And that's because something I'm not sure what it is. It's green. So it's probably some sort of little tiny, tiny little bits of algae are actually growing on the shells of the ostracod. OK, and you can see that only because we're looking using this special technique, which is called dark field for obvious reasons, because it gives you a dark field. And I particularly like, um, let me just zoom out. Let's see what else we can see. Uh, I'll go in. Look, there's a couple of them there, because the other thing it shows up rather nicely is some other types of creatures, like, for example, that little green banana there, which I will come to on another episode. Right. That's all I wanted to talk about today. Thanks always go to Zeiss for helping me out do this. There's a couple of little 
hairy ostracods for you. Um, do follow along. There's been there's a whole there's now I'm getting quite a back catalogue of these things. So you can go onto my YouTube site or you can just filter through on Twitter and come back on. Let's see what day is it? It's Wednesday today. So come back on Friday and uh, we'll have a look at something else. Cheers. Bye bye.